How you doing guys? Welcome back. It's LSP. It's currently the 21st of February 2022. We're going to do a quick market rundown on Bitcoin and BNB. Uh, it won't be a very quick video. I just want to kind of keep you guys abreast of what's going on in the broader market, what we're looking at, uh, and at least what I'm paying attention to in terms of timing entries and so on. Um, before I get over to the charts, obviously, this isn't financial advice, guys. You know, it's, I'm trying really hard, you know, to put um, solid education out there, kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on in my head. You know, um, as you guys know, I've been doing this for quite some time now. So the experience that I have, I'm trying to share with others and hopefully, you know, um, that's being received well and you guys are picking some things up from that. So I'll kind of guide you through the process that I'm going through in terms of what I'm looking for personally and how that affects what I do with the projects that I'm focused on. So if we go over to the charts, we look at Bitcoin like this and, and I try to think like this. I think I have my portfolio. And I can see that my portfolio at the beginning of the year was, you know, uh, one price total, you know, and now it's lower. Right. So what does that mean? You know, and I start to break down each individual project or, you know, asset that I have in my portfolio. And I pair that with the broader market. We know Bitcoin's running lower, showing no indication that it wants to stop. This is the last place, really, um, where we should see some uplift. You know, and if we don't see it here and it still continues to bleed, you know, we are going to see 36. Um, and I... I believe that this low is what ultimately Bitcoin is going to be driving for in the end. If we just go down to the hourly chart, and I'll get back to the portfolio in a second, but if we go down to the hourly chart, we can see every time it drops and it shows any indication of buy side pickup, drop straight away. You know, and this is what we're seeing continually over and over and over again. So I'm not sure that, you know, Bitcoin stopped or finished doing what it's doing. You know, and that's going to spill over into Binance as well. Uh, and as it spills over into Binance, um, which is showing a little bit of strength still, you know, relative to Bitcoin. Uh, but ultimately, it will just continue to bleed, you know, and the broader market will bleed as well. And that's going to you know, spill over into a lot of the projects that are on the BSC chain. So when I look at my portfolio, I try to match what's going on with my portfolio to what's going on with the broader market. And that helps me to time when you know, I should be engaging with the market right now, personally, and this is just personally, I'm not doing anything except for, you know, very select projects that I am continually adding to, which is completely devoid of what's going on in terms of the market, in terms of the broader market or the project itself. This is just a way for me to increase, you know, the, the one to five down the line. Do you know what I mean? Um, and have a much stronger position in terms of passive income. But as it stands right now in terms of adding to, for example, my BNB, I'm not going to be adding to my BNB right now. It makes no sense until I see a real indication that it's either super low. OK, so maybe down at the 320s all the way down to the, you know, the 285, which was the initial uh, idea when I first started, tr you know, uh, like tracking and, and, and mapping BNB, um, then I can't really do anything with it. If I don't see that first, you know, meaning if I don't see 320 or I don't see it, you know, 2 285, for example, and price really shows an indication it wants to go down there, then nothing's changed. What I, re you know, what I would want to see uh, the opposite of that would be an explosive move to the upside, some real conviction to really start to get to go excuse me, to really start getting going again, you know, and then a pullback and then a continuation, not dissimilar to what I've made a reference to here, you know, on Bitcoin. Um, you know, that's what I would want to see on Binance. So I'm being patient. I'm, you know, sitting back, not really um, seeing, like I said, you know, anything that gives me cause to say, yep, this is it. This is the one, you know, so it's a patience game. We, we, we sit, we chill, we relax, we take our time and we make sure that we are preparing and planning as best we can. So when the opportunity presents itself, we're ready to seize on that opportunity. Everything is about timing. The market is a very elusive you know, thing. It will move around. It will mess you about. You think you're seeing one thing, but then it's not. And this is why I feel a lot of people get themselves into trouble. If you remember when Bitcoin started to turn. So when Bitcoin first started to come down and people um, were reporting on Bitcoin, we'll say it like that. It was bullish. It's this. It's the best place to buy, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, what are you talking about? It's, it's absolutely not the, you know, the, the best place to buy. And there was that first initial pop and then straight away everyone's excited and people are saying, this is it. You, you'll see Bitcoin's going to the moon and so on. And the whole rhetoric starts again. Take a step back. I mean, is that what we're really seeing on Bitcoin? No, we're not. We're not seeing any real 
indication that Bitcoin wants to go. And the reason I'm focused so slow, you know, so solely on Bitcoin um, at the moment is because if Bitcoin isn't moving higher, then everything else is moving lower. It's as simple as it gets. So we are detectives trying to find an opportunity to flick a switch. Yeah, it's timing. Everything is about timing. And until we see what we want to see on Bitcoin, substantial, something that's real, something that we can have confidence in, not just we're just going to do it because it's a low price. Worst thing you can do. Price is irrelevant at the moment on Bitcoin. What we want to see is we want to see conviction. We want to see conviction that we can be confident in. And then we can start to look for opportunities to engage, you know, um, again, as opposed to sitting on the sidelines, which is what I'm personally doing at the moment. So with that said, guys, I hope, you know, the um, the update is um, is you know OK. I hope you guys can kind of get where I'm, you know, where I'm going with my uh, my thought process. Um, and I hope everyone's having an unbelievable day as always. And I look forward to speaking to you in the next update. All the best and take care.